you ever get the feeling you're being watched? The use of drones in police operations is nothing new. But over the past few years, they have played an increasing role, with 35 police forces across the UK now using around 400 drones, according to the National Police Chiefs Council. Whether searching for missing people or tracking criminals on the run, it's easy to see why drones have become such a crucial part of the police's toolkit. But with more and more forces using drones, can we be sure that they're being used appropriately? Police forces deploy drones to anything from emergencies to fast-moving active cases. But campaigners are concerned about how they're being used to police events, like public protests. Special Constable Kevin Taylor is the chief drone pilot for Lincolnshire Police. Here, the use of drones has almost tripled. Last year we deployed about 400 times and there were over 1,100 deployments so far this year, so we're seeing them out there pretty much every day. Is this a cost-cutting measure now? Is it? Will we see that a reduction of bobbies on the beach because of it? No, drones won't replace officers. It's no good having a drone that detects a suspect and not having an officer to make that arrest. But drones aren't just being used high in the sky, they're now being flown indoors. Police recently used a small drone to search inside a suspected cannabis farm before officers raided it. Can you give us a, a typical operation where you, you would use this size drone? So where the threat, the harm or the risk to our officers is high, uh, we would rather put this in and get an understanding of what we're dealing with on the other side of the wall. Uh, we can fix the drone, we can't fix an officer. To see for myself how useful they can be in confined spaces, we're going to play a game of hide and seek. And I'm... On the run. Look at the girl. Let's go upstairs. And close behind is the drone. But this tiny little corner there. I'll hide there. I'll like put a towel over my head. I can hear the drone already. Where's he gone? It takes just minutes for the drone to find my hiding place. Okay, okay, you can me. You can see why small drones like this are proving useful. But the man tasked by the government to review how the police use them sees issues around data protection and ethics. Are you concerned about the growing increase of use of police drones? Not of itself. I think it's both to be expected and in some areas probably encouraged because it's increasing. Uh, operational capability in, in, in lots of very useful ways. But it should only increase if there's a correlative increase in accountability and public understanding of how it's being used, where and when, and where you can go to if you're not convinced. You looked at all the police officers using drones across England and Wales. Are they all following the same rules? No. I'd like to see very clear drone-specific guidance to come out from the government and what standards must be met before you can put these things in the sky. Here in Lincoln, opinion is split. Are you concerned about the increase of police drones that are being used? Well, it's already a good thing, aren't they? They keep people safe. I guess it's the same as CCTV, you just get used to it, don't you? But I don't know if that's you slowly violating your privacy or not. I feel like what that does, it just sort of watches every move that you do make. I feel like that could be also misused in, any, in, in a lot of ways. If you're not doing anything wrong, then I don't think you've got anything to worry about, have you? Lincolnshire Police says it welcomes the Commissioner's recommendations and it will follow guidance from the National Police Chiefs Council on where they can be used. We absolutely wouldn't want to compromise anybody's privacy. We don't record a standard and if we do record, that data is going to be handled really sensitively. I can see why the police are using drones more and more, but as I've heard today, there are concerns from the people they are designed to protect about where and when they're used, but hopefully with recommended guidance around their use, the public will be assured that they are designed to keep us all safe. Ah, it's interesting.